Testing. How about now? <laughs> uh, so, so glad we could just totally ignore. Uh, I I'm still saving the preferences. Uh, <laughs> uh, well played, well played. All right, how is the volume? Is it too loud, too quiet, immaculate? <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. So <laughs> what I just said, and I'll <laughs> repeat again, is that uh, it's been a little while, and uh, we, we had September, we had the WGPQ. Um, so you guys got to see me for a little bit, but I was busy and running around and not exactly the same type of thing. And then this month has just been super busy. So, yep. And then I think in August, I think we had it kind of early on. So it's been a little while, guys. So lots of stuff to chit chat about today. I have, I got permission to give you guys some little secrety fun stuff. The one thing I don't like, so I'm on... Uh, new computer but the camera is at the bottom so like down here so when it shoots up it's kind of got the like upward nose cam so like I would prefer not to it's beautiful love it love everything um, so yeah so uh, and yeah and then if I ever use my hands look how like the giant So, anyways, guys, um, so let's just get into it then. Um, so, uh, did you guys end up watching the WGPQ in Minnesota, I believe, with uh, Games and Geek? And any thoughts on the matter? Actually, you know what? Give me two seconds, guys. I'm going to give myself a background music just because I need it. Okay. Oh, so now you guys will be able to tell if I'm ever flipping screens or not because you can see my hands. But anyways. So, just open it up to, how are you guys liking New Frontiers? Uh, I thought 2016 was the best in terms of stream. Uh, bring that back up later. I'll, I'll pick your brain. But, uh, let's see here. No, everything was awesome. Just need to know when the next one is. Uh, I think the announcement goes up. Friday, not 100% on that, but uh, there should be an announcement around Friday. Um, so this new system uh, that we're using, this WGPQ and GPs, is a little bit different because we're kind of opening the door for company, not companies, uh, yeah, companies, Companies, stores, etc., to run events if they have the population and the player base and the demand in their region. So hopefully it opens up more opportunities for more people because one of the big things we saw was that if you have a chance to play, you're more willing to go to locals, there's more excitement in your community, etc. So we wanted to kind of free that up a little bit. Turn up your volume a little bit, thank you. I don't know where my mic is on this computer yet, so um, I can speak louder. Uh, maybe I'm... Testing, one, two, buckle my shoe. Uh... about I think I think things are going okay uh, 
If if the volume becomes an issue, let me know and I will enunciate clearly and speak up. So. Okay. So now you get my giant face. <laughs> so anyway, so let me catch up on the New Frontiers seems really healthy right now. WGPT was a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I definitely think so. I think uh, I was super excited to see the top eight. I was like gleefully putting in the numbers into my spreadsheets. And I was just like, yay, it's almost like it's what we wanted. <gasps> Welcome. <laughs> I think I look fat. <laughs> um, Force Will Japan, just got a friend into Force Will, so building him a Prisia Ascendant. Oh, okay. You scared me. I was like, why would you build him red green Prisia? Hey, here's a cool deck. You can't play it in anything. <laughs> uh, Prisia and Ascendant really did help teach him how to play since he does not like the new Valhalla Road. Interesting. I actually have been really enjoying the uh, Ascended Rulers lately with my. Uh, with a lot of. Uh, what I love about kind of just deck building fun i've been playing uh alice ally of the fairies lately it's just silly fun so um and i think the artwork's awesome so i i i, I was talking to a bunch of people who are like you know you hitting horn had a secondary side effect of making ascended prissia still hard to use with sacred beasts so i'm like sorry i know the The my new camera is at the bottom down here. Then so uh, get some some really attractive neck. <laughs> De <laughs> we need a decent. I actually joked around about that, like with a bunch of the rulers that I don't ever see unbanning, like Prissia and Sherry. I was like, can we just take the backside off of Sherry so she has no judgment, and then change the way that. Uh, the stories work and then maybe she's almost fair sort of kind of but i was like no <laughs> the development team was like no we're not gonna do that uh, on a scale of one to ten how cute is the minnesota jacket i i can only assume that the captain zay over there judging by your name and possible email connection is the one and only that is a reasonable melee challenge uh I i'd give him at least uh, like an eight and a half out of ten i might be willing to move it up or down depending on how good his counterplay is from smash <laughs> um so from teacher's lounge oh what's good uh do do and d did above average to good. <laughs> above average to good. Uh, good to above average. When this one is insanely solid and mostly bounce play, I had no other. Cluster from it is less so. Uh, yeah, I... To be honest, um, I... Don't think... I don't know for a fact, but like, I certainly didn't test as much for Cluster as New Frontiers. Um, I... And I expressed this to people uh, that were coming to the WGP. But um, I, I think, obviously, with one set, you're kind of bound by certain restrictions. I think as you get more, cluster becomes better and better. I think any very few sets with just one expansion have a lot of room to grow. There's generally, here, here you go, and ta-da. Um, yeah, I, I stole one of the judge shirts. Because, actually, but I'm thinking the the yellow one, I don't know if it's smaller or whatever, but it makes me feel fat. So, I'll, I think we need to go back to the red one after. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. Honestly, make Lavatine, Apollo, and Corn only work with the ruler and then i I'm not functionally a rather in them. I would rather just make a card that's fair and balanced rather than like 
shenanigans and just be like, this card actually has text that it doesn't actually have. Thanks, guys. By the way, the promo doesn't have it either. Um, we're not a digital card game. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very pleased with how things are in the game right now. I think, not 100%, obviously Wander needs uh, a couple minute adjustments, uh, as some of the European players showed me, but uh, for the time being, uh, I figured, you know what, we, we tried to hit the things that we found, um, obviously certain combinations we missed. There's a lot of cards in Wander, so, um, so yeah. Uh, do, do, do. What are your thoughts on Distortion of Time? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Distortion of Time is the uh, 4C one, also Scry one, uh, and then players don't untap. Um, I think it's very strong. If it wasn't a god art, I think it would be a serious problem. I don't like that there's only one card in the format that technically deals with it, with Lorite canceling it, but I do think that um, Black has the time reversal, I think it is, that untaps everything. Uh, if you're playing Rhea, um, there's also... Oh gosh, I was talking about... I was just having... Oh, uh graveyard moonbeam if they try and set it up early um although i think that's less of an extent like that's not a real answer just because there's a good player will play around like technical things like that so i do think that it is very strong but i think without that the uh what's her name uh, oh i just gotta say this because it made me laugh Kaguya, or no, was it Ka Gue E or something? This is, I was watching some YouTube video, and the way they pronounced Kaguya made me geek out a little bit. But uh, I think that it is a unique gimmick for her, and it is a little bit fun. I think it's a little strong, but you know what? When's the last time Stasis has been good in any format in any game ever? 1996? So, um,. Bringing back 22-year-old formats. Jeff, a local scene is finally back in Maria. Yes, cool. And that uh, helped to bring the community back. I can't find the text. Uh, hold on, sorry. And I want to become judges. Ah, so uh, I can point you in the right direction. Um, very soon, the uh, U.S. Judge Council is going to be making a post, but essentially the level zero test is going to be offered next month and so it is level zero so to get level one uh certification you do i officially don't like this camera but um going forward you can uh look to take the level zero test which will allow you and will have your name online and whatnot so you can kind of prove to your shop or your community that you passed and that you're able to judge uh, locals in smaller events and then when you get to uh, if you do go to some more competitive events you can take the level one test as beyond fan I'm afraid that you have not tested all the decks then yet <laughs> there there's a couple uh, decks that are a little bit strong right now um, GP in the Philippines uh, no news yet. Uh, I think we're still figuring out the like final bits of the budget for the rest of the world for GPs. Um, yeah, because Melgus isn't like amazing even with his regalia. I'm just gonna point that out. But, um, Enjoy the stream from the event. Yes, I did. I stayed up way too late because it was actually very entertaining. Um, then my Monday was very difficult. Uh, the stream dropped frames. Apparently, there's 295. Jeremy can tell me if that's good or bad. 
Um, willpower rewards, if you're interested in. Stay till the end! I have presents and toys. Unfortunately, it's not everything you want, but it's something. Uh, I answered the G when the next GP no or WGPQ announcement will be earlier on. What is it? Uh, someone can answer that. That's already known. Oh, froze. Hello. Can you guys see slash hear me? Um, hmm. Give me a second, guys. Uh, Um, I, I turned off the music, so hopefully that will alleviate that. Okay. Oh, hey, Matt. Yo, what's going on? Where's everyone else from Millennium? We need to fix this. My my uh, my dad over it is like, hey, did you ever talk to the other professor at RIT and blah, blah, blah? I'm just like, I, I sent an email, but... I mean, it's literally a different university in another country. I don't know what kind of collaboration we're going to have, so. Uh, so, let's see. Let me catch up here. Any GPs in Florida? Uh, maybe. Um, I took the judge test and passed earlier this year, but I've not received anything said that uh Durganzi Roar uh I would talk to your regional judge manager so to speak or if you're in the USA uh you can message the judge council so the level 2s and their names will be posted soon enough can we ban Pandora because I cause myself a little bit Um, but yeah, so maybe Rita Mordo can help you out or at least point you in the right direction. Um, please, for the love of God, make those shirts available for sure. These shirts? You get this shirt a little bit differently. I think, hold on, let's... Whoosh! Yeah! <laughs> but, um, so... Anyways, uh, let's see here. Let's make aggro great again. Uh, so I'm trying to think. So I, I, let, let's we can talk about game design for a little bit. Um, aggro is really surprisingly difficult with how the game has been designed up until now because you have... If aggro is too good, right, it gives you games that end almost unsatisfactorily in the speed of which they finish so if anyone's played shadowverse or hearthstone or magic or any of those it's really not enjoy or modern magic like it's not very enjoyable like losing when you're dead on like turn three and there was very little interaction it was just burn face burn face burn face burn face some people really enjoy that and it's generally a very cheap alternative for those like formats but uh i think that it's very difficult to balance it appropriately because you also kind of set the standard for how strong one drops are going to be how powerful or efficient two cost uh cards are going to be and like what is the appropriate level of burn um so i think like it's actually very very difficult to get that number right and then stay flat with it. Because think for a while, and I, I'm not sure if you guys are old enough to remember this, but for a long time, shock was the standard of burn spells after kind of the original power stuff really left. Um, and so 
for a long time, red was not, I mean, burn was viable, but not to the same degree. Whereas like modern, look at modern magic, like burn is disgusting. And like I, in shadow verse, there's sword craft, like face sword craft, or it's just like one, two, one, two, and then like a four drop swing, everything just hot. So my biggest concern for me is that the, the game experience win or lose is enjoyable i think right now we're getting there but you have to kind of make concessions along the way um there's going to be master runes in every set so that'll be fun i would show you pictures but then i would lose my job so i can't <laughs> um Oh, burn and aggro. All right. Um, yeah, and red has some disgusting stuff. I was talking to somebody like uh, dropping Welser before recovery and then giving it high speed times four is ridiculous. It's 2200 haste and uh, what's it called? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 1600 burn. And if you have a, the Shayla and Kirik combination card, they're not blocking it. And you just bounce whatever the blocker is. It's cool. So, yeah. Some gross stuff you can do. Uh, let's see. I think aggro benefits a lot in games. Or ancients. Yes, it does. Um, and, yeah. I agree that, with that, Ryan. Um, I, I think that the like because we solved the consistency issue which i prefer it makes games that have really thick like resonator bases that are very strong or spell bases that are very strong and cheap become oppressingly so like prissia was so oppressing and i think a big part of that was she's an aggro ruler you're going to consistently see all the things you need. You're never going to get miss your resources when you want them. And then she just had so much value on both sides that it was just gross. Um, yeah. Anyways, all right. Let's. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Jeff. Uh, oh, uh, about figure thing. I did not see it, but I'll just comment that for now. Um, we are not making any more figures, but we are working to create a merchandising department. And hopefully that will be able to provide you guys with new toys and things. Um, one of the biggest things that I saw in a bunch of the surveys I handed out was people really interested in, uh, what was it? Peripherals, essentially. So deck boxes, uh, coins, hoodies, etc., all that kind of stuff. So working on that. So it's in the pipeline. Give us time. Um, not sure exactly how our distribution of that stuff will work, but um, yeah. Cool. Um, let's see. Is there any plans for printing cards or printing non-green ones or coming in? Hey, I just sent a message to uh, development for the next set we actually are working on, like, and there's space in it to at least consider some kind of interaction. Um, not specifically to Time Spending Witch, but uh, I do, like, because obviously, okay, if you had, I was joking with someone, it's like, uh, mind over matter in, uh, this game would be broken beyond words. If you're not familiar with Mind of Matter, is it's discard a card, uh, tap or untap a entity, uh, a rest to recover an entity. But in this game, that would be absolutely broken and just be like, okay, swing, unblock, swing, 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 swing. So we can't really do that. But uh, I think thinking of some creative ways that are not in green, because green has an answer, right? Red, I don't think, should have an answer to that because it's kind of the aggro color loses to the, like, stasis-y color. That's okay. 
but then uh, black maybe could use a discard spell that exiles rather than something so that, you know, you could uh, remove it and then they don't have a chance to play it again from the graveyard, etc. Uh, so there's different ideas. Um, th I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. I'm just saying those are some kind of suggestions I've sent to the uh, development team. Uh, da -da -da. A figure game to help tie us over the twenty six. Or some real beanie babies. Okay, so I have a guilty pleasure of when I was a little guy, I definitely collected beanie babies. My aunt was like the beanie baby of Massa or the beanie baby lady of Massachusetts. And uh, I I would love So I, I had like I was like, oh man, you have the does anyone remember the Stingray that was like two hundred dollars back in the day? Yeah, like I, I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. I used to remember the, I don't know if you're old enough, but like remember the old computers with the black screen and the green font? I would like type up my want lists and print it out on the old like remember the rivet paper uh, printers? I would like print that out and like mail that to my aunt and be like, hey, I this is my list. So this is like early nineties buy lists. <laughs> I had the, uh, like, the glass case. I think I still, in America somewhere, wherever my stuff is from before I moved, um, many, many times, I, I think there is, I have, like, a case and a big thing of Beanie Babies. I don't, I don't exactly remember. But find that. So, sets from, or, the, so, for the, what I've seen so far, there's only chant runes, and the biggest reason for that is that uh, runes themselves are not playable in sealed because the draft rulers are void, and so they wouldn't be playable. Um, and that's a sticking point. I also think that, like, it's an interesting design space if we ever want to use it in extra products or something. Um, but I I think that the pure rune cards we have are pretty strong. Like, a lot of them are... I, I knew going into it that, like, the majority of black decks would only be running the pure runes. And then some of the other ones are a little bit more um, flexible. I think, like, green has some time, like, a, a fair mix. Uh, blue... Like, Massive Growth is the big one that people possibly run. Hey, I remembered the name of a card, not just its effect. I'm so happy. Um, uh, quest Clears, maybe. The problem is they're printed at a different printer now, so it would be really kind of troublesome, and it's really expensive to send that much stuff to a bunch of different companies. Um, but... Hey... Yes, there will be more master runes. Um, I think that the way to imagine how we're kind of going to go through the sets is that every ruler, of course, gets their support cards, right? In each set that comes out. And there's 100 cards, so it should be 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. But um, I think there's going to be a focus for... For example, for V2, there's going to be some rulers that get extra low. And then V3, extra low. And then V4. I'm hoping that I can... I, I don't know what V4 completely is going to be yet, but I, I have some requests based on, I think, where the story is going, and I'm excited. Any plans for dual stones returning to the frontiers? No. Uh, for the time being, no. Like, I, I, I'll burst anyone's bubble if they're hoping for it. They're not in V two, um, so I, I think if we go back to them in the future, I I'm open to both. Like the thing is, you, you want to have tools, right? But the other thing is, you 
you have to control the timing that they're released in because if you print the originals there's no reason like three color decks become the new standard right and then if you print a uh, very limited like half of them so you only have ally colors or only have enemy colors then we're kind of controlling a little bit of what combinations are viable now i'm not opposed to that i think that's actually a really good idea i think it's a good way to control kind of the options and so you have mono decks that have very strong options you have dual colors that become more widespread and so you want to make sure that those colors don't have too many things um i think that i personally would like to see some kind of like drawback stones to some degree um i i like the idea of a risk reward especially like right now two color decks are like you're on the riskier side unless you're time spinning witch um and even then like i ryan you can correct me if i'm wrong but like if you get a so let's see no you really can't brick because you have the uh what's it called words uh the addition that fixes so um yeah and then you're always kind of good into turn two on the uh whatever that ramp of stone card is that i can't think of the name of um but yeah uh as far as the other decks though i think like brunhild obviously white black is very good there's actually a couple other combinations of brunhild that are decent but um there's uh a lot of interesting combinations i'm i'm kind of getting a feel for the format or for excuse me for the gold kind of rulers and wanderer to kind of evaluate their power with because one of my concerns originally was if they have gold support then they're very very powerful and maybe more so than any other ruler just having that much access to interchangeable cards um and so i i do wonder about that so how exactly to do it make sure that the Rhea rulers aren't power crept but also that the new valhalla rulers aren't broken uh so a lot of questions to be figured out um <laughs> i mean look it's the same way as like i and i would agree like that some people are kind of like oh my god you're reprinting the same characters again i'm getting bored of this and p.s of the pictures I would guesstimate that you only actually know about three of those characters. Alice being the really obvious one. Dark Alice being the other really obvious one. And maybe some people know one of the other characters. But pretty much everyone else there, I guarantee you, you're not going to recognize. Although you do know those cards, some of them. Uh, but, so, yeah, I, I do think it was time for us to leave Dual Stones for a little while. I have no opposition to them coming back at some point. Um. uh the counter duels from vim 3 were a good power level but logistically they're a pain in the butt everyone that i talked to that uh for aesthetics for logistics pain in the butt having to put a bunch of dice on your stones and it was just one more thing that was really troublesome on your resonators it's not so bad but good god that was annoying to have to like because then because people are very kind of bleh with their stone decks so very troublesome uh so yeah i i would like something like that with a less obnoxious measurement or i actually i was asking online i, I think maybe some of you saw it but like what is the maximum downside to a dual stone that you'd be willing to accept and i think that's really fun like would you would you allow 500 life for the secondary color what about 300 for either color so would you would you pay a thousand life to have it come in untapped uh i i i like to think about those kind of things uh just because it 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 opens my mind to like design space because the trick isn't making cards that do everything like lorite is a poorly designed card because it does everything 
and as juxtaposed to let's say uh what's a card i really like um like dark faria for example i think is a really nicely designed card it does multiple things but with a fair cost to that i think you want to design cards that the more they do the more they cost and the flexibility also increases the cost if it just does one thing and it does that one thing fairly well okay it has a this cost but the more flexible the more powerful those effects are the more generic those effects are i think the cost has to go up in some way Uh, the only thing to uh, my issue I see someone's commented on tying them to specific rulers means it's really hard to bring them back to make them a standard that I think was one of the weaknesses of the uh, lapis cluster duels was because it's very unlikely like from a story standpoint which the design team is very into very hard to justify bringing those stones back without their rulers coming back or at least like ascended versions that have the this name counts as blah like so what purpose do you see new frontiers for the card invitation to the hall <laughs> that's my comment to that card uh in in uh what's it called though um, in wander it's decent but yeah right now i i don't know like i i actually asked i was like what is this card for it's got a good name, but you know, it's thematic. Like, I understand it, but, like, what is the purpose of it? And I, I don't think I ever got an answer back. Ooh, I like that idea of the, like, kind of Frexian Tower. I mean, design is affected by just making new stones every time, and I, I honestly don't think it's a good business practice to, like, yes, we could do that and force people to buy boxes, but, like, I would, I'm a little less money-grubbing and a little bit more I want a good play experience, so... If you had to eat a card, what card would it be? I think I insulted someone by biting on cards. I'm trying to think what it was. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head. I'll have to think about that. Um, so, for example, uh, support. Uh, I think I can lightly touch on so like uh machines gets more support uh ninjas and cats get more support um big stuff gets more support sand gets more support uh i'm trying to think uh uh zombies gets more reanimation support lucifer gets more kill stuff support um, Fushi gets a little bit more clear path of what direction he's going in, and I think it'll help a bit. Um, there are were 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 I'm hunting were rabbit. Uh, there are more were rabbits coming. I mean, art is killer. Um, <laughs> um yeah there's a lot of good stuff this is something that happened at hq this week was just funny uh let's see anything funny <laughs> hmm. 
God, Edgy and I were geeking out laughing at something. Um, God, what were we laughing at? Oh, my God. There was something last Friday in our meeting, and we just sat there, like, cripplingly laughing for uh, quite some time. So, I, I, God, I can't think of what it was now, though. Uh, probably a dark joke, so. Um, I think I'll four tomes two will force do. Uh, I certainly hope so. Uh, I continuously push for it and offer proposals and design plans and everything. Uh, nothing to announce with that yet. Uh, where's the sam Samurai Daimyo Resonator? She just gotta wait long enough. Uh, full reprints of cards that don't exist. What? Uh, I'm not sure what context of this question is. Uh, do you think the next set will put rulers that no one is looking at? Um, hmm. Let's see. I think that... The next set, I assume you're talking about competitively. Uh, I think it boosts some. Uh, I'm not sure to what degree. I, I've been testing, but I, I need to test more, essentially. Uh, I, it's tough. Like, there's some very powerful cards and very powerful combinations, and... Like, I could see, depending... Like, it's tough because every deck has answers to stuff. So it's really what becomes popular, not necessarily... And obviously, like, there are some things, but, like, there's... Outside of very, very limited cards, like, uh, I don't think anything truly answers... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Graveyard Moonbeam. I can't think of the name of it. Uh, Evil, uh, Evil Elemental Uprising. Outside of a couple cards like that, I think almost everything has at least a card to deal with it. So what about an asset pack for, for like Battle Spirits? Like, I know people standing ready to get an online made and ready to get an online. Uh, sorry, you have to clarify that. Uh, ah, actually, I know most of the promos. Uh, at least some of them. Um... And I believe there's still stocks and online availability for Mosasaurus, Joan to Ark. Stone of Time is kind of a tough one, but that set just came out, so. Um, any hope on reprinting of Grimnorus? Ah. Please wait. Maybe. Maybe. That's a creepy ass face. Shouldn't do that. Do that. Uh. Let's see, what first would be the mobile gotcha game? You talked about making a list of band play. Uh, yeah, uh, the list is accumulated, but I have to convince uh, headquarters that uh, it's a thing we need to publish. Uh, Japan's very, very big on like personal privacy, and so they're hesitant to publish that. Uh, I kind of recommended that it's important to make sure that the local game stores are aware of who's not eligible to play. So hopefully we'll move forward with that relatively quickly. Um. <laughs> oh, you're talking about new Pandora. I was thinking you're talking about Pandora Dark and Pandora Light. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Jeff, why'd you guys opt in for a set? For Tomes and Rails. Uh, I it was that decision was made before I joined the company. Um, Sand Dragon's wording specifying J rulers as the damage source and knowing that Isis and Peach kind of know they're doing damage. It would be a card that specifically. Uh, I have to reread all that stuff. Um, some maybe I think Steph, the ruling master, is in there. Uh, can find those cards for me because I cannot pay two hundred dollars to get the GP version of CFC Real. <laughs> hey, hey. So the one thing, and I will say, and I've told this to many people, is my goal is to make sure that the the this is my good side. Uh, my goal is to make sure that things are playable. If you want to have the pimp version, the super cool ultimate mega version, I can't help with that. Might be more expensive, but. 
my goal is to make the base game accessible. So if you can just get a ruler, I'm happy. If you can't get a ruler, period, that's, I feel like, a flavor fail. Or at least a, that's a fail at the company side. If you can't have the super ultimate mega cool mega edition turbo matrix, that's okay. Maybe you gotta work harder for that. Uh, oh, asset pack. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, I have it. I need to figure out how to upload it because they won't upload it onto the homepage. So I need to, if anyone knows a good file sharing server, server that I can use for Force Origins, I'll put it up on there. Um, have all that stuff, yes. Skyward. Mm. Oh, we see more Knights of the Round Table. Um, I, as far as characters go, I think we'll be seeing them very shortly. Uh, Yokai, I believe they have some support in the next set. Can't remember if it's good or not. I don't remember the creature types. Can you tell us what the Minnesota prize card will be? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. They, they're still printing the stuff, because uh, normally this is kind of our downtime, so uh, they're still making it. Hi. Uh, what point we start? Oh, darn it. I missed. Isn't Mega the thing that people use for porn? Or do people actually use that for other stuff, too? And I'm just revealing my main uses for it. Uh, All right, well, guess who just got outed? <laughs> uh, I bought a single pack with a god pack, traded away the foils, and got a play set of four blue Good, that's awesome. I, I also think god packs are just super cool, like, fun thing to get. And the fact that they're all full arts, too, is just, like... Uh, <laughs> I'm still laughing internally and crying externally. So, you know, it's standard behavior. Um, whoosh! Just adjust myself here. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's in the camera. Um. So, yeah, just uh, my Google Drive is like maxed out. It, like three times over i have to like i bought the upgraded one just because uh my university i have so much stuff on there web comic oh god back in the day i used to make my own that was horrible but uh wait till the end quantum humps physics i don't know why i saw humps but it's just quantum physics but, uh, what, sorry, what was it? Paperwork. There was one with uh, the pink and the blue cats, and they dressed up as uh, cartoon characters. And I really liked those. Um, no, I, I believe... I believe everything from GeoCities era got taken down. Um, yeah, Dead Eye Navigator, you can PM me and I'll give you my feedback on that. Um. <laughs> I all right, so this is kind of a joke. I, I would really like to do, but I'm pretty sure it's not acceptable in any region. I would love to have in uh one of my favorite adult artists uh make some promos. Uh maybe in Japan only, but uh, I, I think that would be really fun. Not inappropriate artwork, but just, like, their style. Because some of them, like, I really like their artwork. I would love to see them make promos. And they would be Japanese, so they fit the criteria. Um, actually, don't PM me, guys, because I, I don't read that stuff. Uh, I mean, you can PM me on here, and if I'm laughing at myself, I'll respond. But um, So, as far as the... Please make a new one or make a Dropbox. Please, uh, I already saw that. Bang clan. <laughs> Do the secret heart clan. I haven't, I gotta blow my nose, guys, but uh, I have not heard of anyone banning cards. Uh. But 
I am very much so not prude. And so I think, like, I, I have not been in that particular situation. Will there been any changes to caster kind of thing? Uh, I don't do caster stuff very much, so I don't know. Mm. Is there any plans in the far off future to make a WGP for Wander? Also, hey, so uh, to the first part of that, yes, I really want. I tried to get Wander to be in this year's WGP for the day two, but. Uh, he got blocked for a couple different reasons. Um, so it's very much on my to-do list. Um, any thoughts of reprinting cards from older clusters to the not functional? Yes, I've thought about that as well. Um, I actually would really like to do that if development can justify a reason, like the character fits in the set or their back or whatever. Um, so... Uh, average day, almost every single day. I'll show you my point card. I I go to a, a Don Buri restaurant, which is essentially uh, rice and then and some kind of fish, and that, so I get what's called uh, salmon negi toro don, which is slices of salmon like you would have on sushi, and then some ground up tuna, and then some uh, what's it called green onion. And then rice, put a little uh, soy sauce on it. Oh, it's delicious. I have it every day. It's 540 yen, so about five bucks. It's awesome. Uh, discuss secret rares more in the discussion that was made. Ah, okay. So uh, secret rares, that's a good question. People really, after the R, no, L4, R1 secrets with the alternate arts, uh, <laughs> Uh, people really liked those alt arts back in uh, that, those sets. And then, obviously, R2, R3. Guys, remind me, what was the R3 secrets? I honestly can't remember right now. It, I'm drawing a blank. But R2 was the... Re oh, it was the Uber uh, rulers. It was the Uber rulers. Um, but the R2, R3 were not particularly enjoyed some people liked the ubers uh some people didn't um but i think that and then r4s i think were cool but they were implemented wrong the the i would have liked to see the symbol be completely clear so that the uh like the ruler symbol that they're connected to was clear uh i think that would have looked much better than like being the same color you couldn't see that they were marked a lot of the time um so uh so anyways going into the new one uh ag and i talked about like what is one of the biggest demands and we can even got that from like distributors and retailers like everyone was saying they liked the alt arts so with the change to uh what's it called uh the set sizes to make them more accessible again like i one of my big things was i wanted the uh three boxes you can basically get a play set of stuff back again because that was that was one of the big things that sold me originally on the game like during valhalla i don't know if anyone knows but like it's a pain in the butt to get uh, a play set of stuff but then in grim forward it's pretty much three boxes you got a play set and so when we did that change, one of the things we we're like, well, you know what, we can we have a little bit of budget then to do some of these higher like rarity, really nice artwork cards. So. The L two R one secret. Ah, oh, God, I'm trying to remember. Ah, oh, man, making me think back. What was the I'll know it as soon as you say it, but what were the L... I'm trying to think of... Oh, L2 was the full arts of L1, and L3 was doing that again, and then L4 we know, and R1 we know. Okay, all right, we got it, we got it. Uh, textless as secrets is a maybe. I thought about that. Uh, my concern is, like, 
the complexity of the card affects that a lot. And I would think maybe that should be some kind of special promo instead. Just because, uh, like, you open this card, especially if it's a new set, you're just like, I'm a new player. What does this card do? So I think it needs to make sure that that card is specifically given to, like, invested players that know what they're doing. Uh, it was teased to go to the website within this. Uh, slowly. <laughs> uh, just honestly, the, anything that's going through that department takes a while. Very, very long. Uh, Ubers are the super turbo pimp versions. You said they're fine, but where are they not fine? Is that one? So, apparently, I did not know this. There's a whole different, like, I, I guess I should have, but like, there's a whole different process and different printing companies have different ways. So I actually asked AG, like, can we do Ubers in some capacity? And maybe, like, maybe they'll come back, but apparently they're a pain in the butt. So, um, and I think it defeats the purpose if we said you don't, uh, rulers aren't in the boxes to then, pssst, they actually are in the boxes. Like, I don't like giving misinformation unless... Like, I'm purposely hiding a secret or a truth in there. Like, just saying something and then oopsing because we changed it one set later. Um, and I think the other thing is, like, you have, you have an Uber, cool, like, you're good. Whereas the secrets, like, you, you want to get, like, a place out of time or something for the printing. Uh, are we getting Halloween promo this year? I think so thinks uh, I know there's a Christmas one. I'm not sure if there's a Halloween one. I'm very sorry. I'm not sure off the top of my head. No news on Architect. I don't deal with them at all. Uh, Jeff, can you show us the face? All right, let's find out. Hold on. Be right back. Oh, all right, so we got some booster packs. Let's sign out. What's my face when I open a good card? Garbage. Let's see what. Oh, here, yeah. Oh, oh there's a the camera. Okay, there we go. Rad. This card's actually really good. Like, I really like this card probably more than i should but i really love this card it's for brunhild specifically gives you flexibility i i find that i uh mulligan much more comfortably knowing that i have this available if i don't hit my uh Eclat of the sun uh me i'm not a big fan of memes devil Camel power! I know uh, Ryan likes this one. I love this art. Oh, God, I love this art. Here we go. Uh, Whispers of the Devil. Come here. I think this is my rare, right? Yeah. Come here. Solid. Oh, all right. All right. All right. I actually, I really like this card in the full art. I really, really like it. God, I love the quality of this set. Here, yay, somebody can have this if you want it. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Cool, you got it. All right, let's keep going. Uh, your Brunhilds might not run white sources. I run mono white Brunhilds. So get at me. Uh, oh. uh, this card is the can attack, right? No, this is the bounce one. Okay. And then. I like for C. The full art of this is actually super nice. Uh, this is a Firebird. I love the full art of this also. Oh, and this card, again, very good. I, I really, really like this, especially if you're going with the uh, two, 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 two. 
instead of like the two three two three two or two three two three three. Um, like I think this is actually very good, especially in the angels. I've seen the sketch cards. I actually don't like them. Um, bird. All, all I ever think of is Gen Con preview bird. Um, barrier red. Mutado. Oh, he has a little combo coming up in the next card. Yay. Uh, Ayu. Oh, I, mm. my my good friend here plays Ayu. So, and then what do we got? Oh, four camel. <laughs> I have no idea about dominating. Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Um, I actually don't know if that might happen. Uh, scorpion, not bad. Mm, Overcosted, but still good. Uh, I love this card just in the art. Um. Mm. Playable, even though it's not my kind of thing. Uh, Gen Con preview card. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, I like. I, I this reminds me of what is this card? Oh, River Snake. All right, this reminds me of River Boa so much. Um, not that I know of as Beyond Fan. Uh, I'm pretty sure the art book is only and has only ever been uh, kind of special event stuff. Uh, this card won someone a game in WGP, so I automatically like it more. Uh, is this the explosion girl? Yeah, I, not terrible. Um, the... Oh, barrier rights. Gotcha. I oh, oh. Ah, I got excited for a second. I thought it was actual Tengu. But still good. Best. One of the best answers. Uh, have a good night, Calgo Horror. Oh, here. Somebody want this? take away the exclusivity of going to the event. Will coins are only available at events. And I think the demand isn't actually that. Like, it's it's there, but most people just want to play cards. Um, so, let me, let me, let's see, come on, let's see what card is actually. Not in love. I really like Yokai Festival. Really like this. Ooh. Yes. What do we got? Yay! Counter spells! Force of Green! Alright, we got one more. We got one more. Come on, let's get something exciting. I already know that I pulled the secret out of this case, though, so. I know we're not going to have a secret. This card's surprisingly good. Uh, I really tried to make this work in Brunhilde at first. But... Oh, oh, what happened? Sorry, hold on. Uh, I like this card, actually. I was main decking this for a while, actually. This cuts. I actually like this. More camels. Not bad. I love this as a sideboard card. Like, this, like, turn two with uh, white. Like, this is so good at just picking apart any of the decks that need to, like, build up stuff. And the fact that it can't be attacked. Oh, God. Like, this with the uh, first strike or human there was a deck I was really testing out at the beginning, but it ended up you don't need some of that stuff, but it, it's still a very good sideboard card. Uh, Jubei. My whole, actually, I really like... Jubei is one of the cards that I was afraid of, to be honest, when we were designing cards. Uh, he is very flexible, he's very strong, and I was afraid that like, blinking this is obnoxious, but uh, seems to be okay for the time being. Not doing anything too broken. Uh, 
And then, oh, okay. All right, so you got to see my face a little bit, but nothing too amazing. Let's do this here. Oh, God. Oosh. And I'll clean that junk up later. Uh, so, let's see. I bought my art book online before I worked for the company. That makes you feel any better. Um, okay. Let's see. Can't be attacked by disciples, then attacks into it and kills disciples. Brunhild tech it coming. Uh, Ryan, I mean, what we can... I, I, I'm purposely not disclosing, like, my testing just because I'm, like, nine months ahead of you guys. But... In that I'm not saying is some secret tech that no one else realized, but I do think that there is a lot of untapped potential still in the cards that people aren't putting together yet in competitive decks. So I'm hoping you get there. Uh, we got uh, next month is in America. You have states, and then December there's something maybe, and then as we go, they'll then actually after that you'll have V two to. Jeff, we ever see supported lower level events to bridge the gap between. Do you mean like WGPQs? If you mean officially supported lower level events. Um, oh, thoughts on the gin flicker nonsense. Um, with the thought that he's going to be flickering things that don't ramp you stones going into the future uh i i think it's okay as a combo like so you blink it right it comes back but they come back at the end of the turn and so you're not going to get your stuff back if you blink again until the following so while good i think there's enough answers to it and i don't think anyone's playing wander without either a combo deck a control deck that just counters it or some type of interaction for enter abilities. Abdul exists in the format, um, and now Abdul hits a lot. Abdul the J Ruler hits everything now, which is awesome. But um, yeah. what can you spoil about V two uh, that it's cool? Uh, I don't think anything other than that yet. You guys already have seen Ruined Earth, so you know that Stone Destruction is coming back. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, not a lot, and a little bit. Um, you still got like three months. Hold your horses. Uh, let's see. I don't do dominators. I don't know anything about it. Uh, for states, will stores need to report with TCG Meister? Um, I don't think so, because States is run through ARG, so that's, like, that's not connected to your promos and your, that's not Ruler League, so that's a different thing. May I ask, what mainly determines if a country will have a GP? Uh, a mix of everything, but the biggest things are distributor, uh, player amount, and, and sales. Like, those are the big ones. Um. And then also, like, your just how they connect with our sales team. So, yeah, it's kind of secular, right? SBN fan, like, they need more events to do stuff, but then at the same time, like, if there's no sales, then it's very difficult to justify to the company to put the money into it. So it's a circular thing. Um... I know other companies that aren't American, Amer aren't America, and they're still much more active. Um, yeah, I, I think a big part of it is that uh, the American website has the people who are running it right now are Japanese, and they sometimes don't know what to post on the U.S. page because uh, a lot of it they're not sure if it's relevant content or whatever else. I'm trying to remedy that, so hopefully sooner rather than later we'll have one or even two like, 
people helping me to do that. Because I just, if I see something that's definitely missing, I have them do that. But, like, the content, right, that's got to come from the Japanese side. Like, the lore and stuff needs to come from the production teams. Um, after the failures of DBS and Magic, I've only been interested in to be honest, if we get more stone destruction, we just get away from more stone. Mm. True stones, and I would agree with you. Can you explain to me as a player what I need to inform my store to do so that I continue to distribute for Um, Can someone answer that? Because that'll take up a lot of my time. Um, I think, Jeremy, if you're in the stream still, uh, can you talk to nitrous oxide there? There's also uh, the biggest thing is put your get your distributor in the retailer group that will help them because all the information is there. Mm, what are the main criteria for GPs? I think I just answered that. Jeff, do you like spicy food? No, I I cannot eat spicy food. I'm a big wimp. My girlfriend's Chinese and. Uh, it, it is difficult sometimes because she really wants to eat really spicy stuff and I'm over here like, can I have the plain version, please? So, um, yeah, I would, I, I love the design space of True Stones. I think they're really good. Um, I, I think it creates a really interesting dynamic in a deck and I think it gives you a great like power limiting factor like yeah sure if you want to run four of them to make sure you hit it that's awesome but then at the same time if you hit the second one you're down a stone and your rulers tap so like there i i've had a bunch of ideas lately about some cool true stones to make if i ever got to make my vin golf or like a whatever so yeah i i i really like the design I'm, you're not going to take a one-hour trip to get to a GP. Dude, I'd go an hour and a half just to go to locals. So, I mean, it's perspective is different for everybody. It's an hour and a half one way for me to go to locals. I still go out as much as I can almost every week. <laughs> yeah, when do we get Guy in his cradle? Uh, hopefully never. Uh... We would have to be in a format where stone destruction is very common for that. Do you know the future GPs that are coming? Uh, I discussed that. Someone can answer. Um, any plan to add history? I really would love to. Um, so, um, there's actually a lot. <laughs> so someone knows my passion for unfun magic decks getting transferred over <laughs> into Force of Will. But um, so as far as the historical sport, historical dark elves, uh, six sages, uh, a lot of that stuff I personally have written up support for and hopefully someday if i can convince the powers that be that there's a reason to print them I, my the hardest thing for me is a art direction because i i'm very much a bottom-up kind of guy like i make the art whatever you want it to be i just want the existence of that effect and so like i need to kind of figure out what the art direction is or what the story is for the set or whatever. Because even, like, Ruler All-Stars, right? That still had a story to it. Uh, the historical set had a story. Um, do you mean undervalued as far as dollar cost or undervalued as in people don't recognize how powerful it is? Um, the storm mechanic, I... I not without a much more interactable version because there's a lot of ways to just play stuff in our deck in force of will and so uh as much as i would actually really like that i 
don't think I could ever justifiably do so without very simple yet useful interaction. Like, uh, if we had a storm type card, I would say that the storm effect on the spell would not resolve until like the card resolved because right the only way to stop a storm spell is with like stifle or trick bind etc so to or like exile the stack kind of thing so i i think that's one thing that makes storm a little bit shenanigans was that regular counters didn't work on it you needed storm counters for specific things so it would have to be much more balanced if we ever did something like that. Um, one turn wins are beautiful. No, they're not. I mean, I understand they're fun, and like, from certain people's perspective, it is like it's a great Spike thing, it's a great Johnny thing, but uh, it's actually terrible in terms of like player experience, and players really don't like that. Prisia was a two two kill, and that was Ryan can tell you the statistics, but that was not a good time and so people don't enjoy they don't mind losing if they have a good time along the way if they felt like there was interaction and so i think that taking that into consideration i'm probably never gonna okay if i have any say in it any kind of uh deck that does shenanigans that doesn't leave open chances to interact with it. like i wouldn't mind like a storm spell that made a bunch of tokens or something if we also made a card like black tears or something else that dealt with said tokens or like some way so that there was viable interaction with multiple colors and multiple decks etc or at least if there's a deck that interacted with it like i in one of my sets i designed rulers that specifically were like rock paper scissors with each other so like one did one thing another countered that but was weak to another and xyz so like something like that maybe but as it stands uh sorry i got off topic there uh, battle simulator got canceled like half a year ago uh, and there was lots of posts on it talking about it um uh, all I can say is I, I hope that you guys will make something. Um, I really would like, I would, I would love to see the community come together. Like I know we have some programmers, like something like a, a YGO Pro or XYZ. Uh, will Sylvia be in the new Valhalla? I think she's dead, did she? Or did she come back? Or no, no, uh, so, oh no, Slave Girl was in the history, because that was a historical deck, so that wasn't, that's like alternate timeline anyways. Um, I, I, I think Sylvia's dead, like, actually dead, as opposed to, like, storyline dead, although, you're right, like, uh, I can just hear you saying, but other people didn't die, and so I, I'm sure at some point, um, uh, can someone fill them in on Battle Simulator situation? I'm going to probably go for another 40 minutes or so, uh, whoever just asked, about 1 o'clock, go get some lunch, and then I'm going to do another one in a couple more hours, a couple more later, a couple hours later, uh, for the uh, European guys, because I, I feel like I, I often talk to the US, so I want to get some time with the EU. Um, so... And I, and I know this is a weekday as opposed to a weekend, but my weekends have been super busy. Um, so I, I will say that I don't think Sylvia is going to be in New Valhalla at all. It's interesting, Ryan, that you say that uh, tight color costs limit creativity. Um, I, like, if you mean creativity in so far as throwing the best cards into the same deck, then yes, I think that is a limiting factor. But I also think that the cost of cards allows us to control 
what cards are splashable and what ones aren't, and which ones we don't mind seeing in multiple color decks, and which ones we kind of want to see in a mono deck. Um, I will say that, judging by a bunch of the color costs in V2, they really want you to play with one color. Um, <laughs> so, sure, uh, I will... Oh, gosh, there was a good question I wanted to address. Uh, I know I don't think Faria's existent Prissia I think is taking a break she's off uh, I think didn't those two go like fly off to the like a uh, little like the wander box that reflect and refrain in Eldebert created to kind of hang out in um, Japanese word that's useful uh, Oshiete kudasai which means please teach me please inform me <laughs> uh, I'm pushing for that, but with uh, like some new kind of ideas into that color identity. Like, there, of course, in our game, flavor is. It, I, you know what? It's good that someone opposes me on this, but like the flavor. Uh, is yeah we've had three color decks for a long time blah 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 blah. Uh, I I'm bored of mono good stuff that deck. That's just as boring because that's what it turns into. Anyways, uh, with the other, the some of the flavor of the cards takes over for like what the color can do. That is only basically true on a couple of big cards um but i think that there's one in particular that i'm thinking of that does something that's a little bit strange for that color to be doing but it fits within the theme of how it does it um I, I I don't follow the story close enough to actually know what happened to some of these characters. Uh, I, I have a rudimentary understanding enough so to be like, okay, this is a thing. Uh, the to be honest, the Lapis Rhea story, uh, yeah, Lapis Rhea story was kind of not my cup of tea. I really liked uh, Valhalla Originals, like retcon story. And then uh, Grim and Alice, but Lapis and Rhea story was not my thing. Uh, have you ever considered cards based on attribute or ruler that makes them do something? Cost of design or is this not something you can do? Uh, can you clarify that, Travis? Like, what do you what do you mean based on the attribute of the ruler? So do you just mean like make a red card based on the red ruler? Kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think Seven Kings was a really, like, the perfect combination of real and original IP, like, brought together. I really like that. Uh, If you if you are talking about what Psycho here is saying with the uh, attribute being the race of the resonating ruler, then yeah, actually, sir, for some of the, for some of the support that I kind of designed for the Vingolf one rulers, uh, that was one of the things that I kind of like wrote down was like how to make it so good card combined with unique uh, typing that only. 
like a couple of rulers have kind of thing to then make it playable card is one way to kind of support old rulers but still make interesting cards um, booty cat and new valhalla loki needs a trap for hey 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 they are female, and I will not have slander. Um, all right, uh, let's talk about... Uh, all right, uh, well, go ahead, guys. Uh, ask me anything. I'm going to... We've got about 30 minutes left. I'm going to take questions and whatnot for about 20 minutes, and then uh, I have some preview stuff and some updates to go over. I'll give you guys a second to respond. Give me some whatnot. Behave yourselves, boys. Zoe, Crimson. Don't ask me story questions, guys. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Artist confirmed. No, he didn't. He trolled many, many people through auto translate, from what I understand. Do you know any potential plan for Rhea Cluster rulers? Uh, I know that they're minimally, very minimally, but there is some cards that support ruler cluster, uh, Rhea Cluster stuff in well, New Valhalla. Uh, obviously not the main focus. Uh, I would like to see more, but there is some. You'll know exactly what it is when it gets spoiled. You're like, oh, golly gosh, I can guess what deck this goes in. Because um, you all speak like 1920s announcers. Oh, great golly gosh, the pugilist fighting is over. <laughs> um, will there be any fighting against life gain? You mean besides punching people in the face with a ton of resonators? Uh, Loose for support, Rhea support. Don't worry, boys. Uh, can we ban Gretel and Wander? Yeah, give it time. Uh, can Forceful please try and get a deal going with Figma figure? Oh, that'd be cool. I don't know if Edgy has any contacts with him. Is Oborozuki the name? That's the name of the vampire. Richtif... Primus Richtifrin? What is that? Uh, oh, just as a side note, if anyone's on like YouTube or whatever, Oborozuki, not whatever the heck else you <laughs> called it that made me geek out. Um, uh, Rewatch this after Booty Call. I talked about Distortion of Time. Um, I discussed that. Uh, good gosh. Good gosh. Oh, I need like a monocle or something. New Valhalla, soft reboot, my jolly good mate. It'll make it seem a bloody show. So, I'm not sure what's on top of that. Uh, Samurai and Daimyo will get to at some point. Uh, <laughs> for checking your nose hair. I actually do have the Amazon thing for like mm. tr trimming that. So Ben's online. He mentioned because of the format he made that Plus Ultra wouldn't support it. I mean, I so I see what you're saying. Um, one of the things that my concern was is that is an official format, so there's no reason for the company to support it. It's a fan made thing. It was a format once upon a time, but um, if it was, then I would think it's at least something we could look into. But we talked and. 
hopefully he's going to do uh, more in the future. And I'm still planning on doing my J League thing, but that's not, again, like company supported. That's just my personal cards I'm using as promos. Uh, and I'm supporting my Seven Kings from uh, Alice Cluster as well for that. So the uh, there is opportunity, but I think it's also like, it's not a great look for the company to be using another platform outside of our own. So while I do think there's, gro there's a lot of growth in available like options for the future, uh, I think that it's not time yet for Force of Will to officially be doing online stuff. We don't have the tools, I would argue, to do that well. Um, so direct influence is kind of a complicated question. I am the glue to the company at this point. I connect all the different people together, and then I have my own department as well and then like obviously i hire people that do what i need but um still i need to i can convey information to the other departments but their their own heads need to take that information and then do with it what they will and depending on how much what percentage they want to listen to me or whatnot um j league uh, J-League is going to be every official format plus uh, two, I guess Cluster is kind of an official format, um, but realistically, if Ben's going to do his thing, then I'm going to wait until after that because I don't want to burn people out. So um, we'll do that. Maybe uh, we'll start it once I can. And the thing is, I need support because I like help people to help me run it because I'm running it just because I want to see people playing the game, not because I have time. <laughs> that's an understatement so i definitely need people's help with that kind of community done like force origins is a community website not an official website like that's my personal thing and so like i'm sponsoring it through force origins kind of thing that will come in the future uh i'm not did nothing wrong blah 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 story stuff <laughs> uh no, that, like, uh, I, I've been having, like, a internal conflict lately as to online versus offline, and I do think the soul of Force of Will is meeting people. Like, the fact that I know most of you through our Facebook discussions, but also I've met a lot of you guys, like, Force of Will has an awesome community, and... The people that haven't gotten there aren't in a uh, at a level where they're comfortable to go to events yet. I think we, we've removed a lot of the toxic environment at this point where the people that are left in our game now are good people. And so I, I think that we're in a space where you can come to an event. Don't worry if you're not the best player in the world and you're still going to have a good time. Um, I think the other side of that is... AG and I both agree, like, we want people to go out and see the world. That's the thing that we're selling. Yes, I guarantee you we could have more players if we went online and we just focused on, like, playing on your phone or playing online. But a lot of that, like, there is instant gratification in the game, but I think overemphasizing that doesn't do a service to what our game's soul is and so i think like what is force of will is community it is the parts that involve like delayed gratification going to events having physical cards i think like one important thing especially in 2018 is knowing who you are and being comfortable with it like you know what, I, th I, I believe that kind of going the, the mass broad appeal and kind of limiting yourself down to the lowest common denominator is, it, it does work, obviously, but I don't think that's what we are. I think we have a great community. I love our community. I obviously want it to grow, and I want 
other good people to join us, but I I think that it's important for the company, for players, for everyone to recognize like what are we and like where are we going for now with what we have available is important. So for the time being, <clears throat> like untapped dis uh, discord what's the other lackey etc like we have those i would love to kind of increase the recognition of our brand and get more people to know about us but i i don't know if that's a current like we want to that's a long term like i want to get online have our own system etc um but for the time being, I'm okay with having a great community, good quality cards, uh, game balance is getting back to normal. Um, so I I'm I'm happy with the upward swing that we're having. Um, but obviously I'm I'm also concerned. I think that Gen Z is gonna have a really hard time. Like there's a great uh, article if anyone wants to go out and or even there's a YouTube version of it, essentially that Gen Z and millennials actually as well are struggling uh, satisfaction of job and health of relationships because there's no app, there's no way to do that other than long, arduous tasks and journey through life. And there's no instant gratification for that. And so people are really struggling. There's a lot of young people that aren't offering that. And I think that that is where I'm okay if we're not trend setting in something that I value as, in, and then again, this is me to some extent too, but that we value as a society is that some things are worth working for. <clears throat> some things you don't just get right away. Some things that take a long time. I, I think that it's worth investing time and energy and mental resources into something that you're passionate about. It doesn't have to be this game. It can be whatever, your career, anything. It just, I think focusing on short-term gains and kind of instant dopamine releases doesn't give you the experience that Force of Will is trying to create. <clears throat> um, let me, sorry, I think I'll go through and read your comments real quick. SBF fan, I literally just pointed out why I disagree with that. But it's, I mean, there's a very good chance that there's a generational gap and a different view of things. So, <laughs> um. Let's see. Oh, how are we doing on time? Yes, like uh, booty call. I one hundred percent agree. I, I <clears throat> even before I was working at the company, I was just an avid player. I uh, would first of all call, appreciate or ignore attempts to novelize. Uh, we actually have talked about it in the future, um, like hiring a uh, professional American writer to either, can, like, this is multiple years in the future, like post-2020, but, like, uh, consider that um, to put something out there, uh, whether it be, like, a public thing or just an internal document, etc., but yeah, I, I love that this company really does let you experience the world through your own version of it. I love the idea. Quite literally, we give you our versions of myths and fairy tales and whatever. And so you make the decks. And 
while a lot of the discussions are always based on like competitive stuff, there's a lot of like casual stuff. Like you can have historical decks based on real things. So I think that's awesome. Two thousand nineteen, you're playing shitty right until I die. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, I would personally play mono white Brunhild. That is my like go to jam. I I've tested with a couple other decks that I really like and I think are maybe more viable. And but I love the mono white Brunhild deck. It, it's really funny because I was joking with the design team. One of my designs for my uh cluster if i ever got one uh they used some of the stuff that i designed or at least we had similar ideas so i i think that's cool um if you did hire someone during a normal one system one start it Can we get some blue and green new friends? So I can use bad Shayla. Next is almost done. White Lorite confirm for me too. No, I've already said I don't like Lorite's design. Um, Jeff, have you played Deep Woods Mono White Vlad deck? Uh, I have not. I, sadly, I have not played Wanderer since we were testing uh, the change for the most recent format, so. All right, let me scroll up, guys. Sorry to scroll down. So I, I, I will say Vale One, I one of the true stones I designed would make her, I think, pretty playable. Um, but fight me. <clears throat> What's your favorite card in New Valhalla? Uh art wise or effect wise or in what context? Um Mm, GP comments I've addressed. Um, every context. Um, all right, so. Hmm. Let me think about this. Vlad might be one of my favorite artworks. Um, Vlad, Karuda, the original artwork, and Orfiel, the secret artwork, um, and Yokai Festival are some of my favorite artworks. <clears throat> um... As far as effect-wise, I love uh, Spear of the Valkyries. I love um, the knight that reanimates. I can't think of his name that we got the art of. Um, what else? Uh, there's a lot of good effects. <gasps> Protection of the Angels. Um, mm. <laughs> Belial and Azazel, I both, I like a lot of them. There's a lot of stuff I like in it. I, I really, I really enjoy a lot of how the set plays, how it feels. It, it's, it's, it's interesting. I, I, the one problem with Final Battle, Travis, is that it doesn't affect both sides. 
I would then agree with you. The fact that it's only one-sided, it basically means your opponent can't block that turn on top of you remove their field. That's tough. So I, I would say that I Final Battle is almost a perfectly designed card. It just needed to affect both sides of the field. Ah, yes, I, I love the Art of Consume. I forgot about that. Uh, I like that rune that reflects damage back to your opponent. Oh, God. When Hikafu did that in, or uh, now Yuki did that in Worlds, I was ecstatic. I was like, yeah, uh, so glad that worked. God. Protection of the Angels of One Drop Light is so... Uh, I would say that because you can only do it on your turn, it's not ever gonna, like, punish... Like, it, yeah, it punishes bad attacks. Like, the fact that we have, uh, what's it called? Bleh. Um, the thing that removes all the effects. Separation of fates. Separation of fates on their thing, and then blocking it with an angel, like, makes just shenanigans. Um, that kind of stuff. Love it. Um, but I think it needed something like that. Like, I, I would argue that, like, White has some good cards, and I, I think it's actually better than some people are giving it credit for, but uh, the I, th um, I, I think it needed some good effects. Like If it didn't have the turn clause, then I think it would be way too good. And the fact, if it could hit J-Rulers, then it would be a problem as well. <laughs> the penultimate battle. Um, no, there's a clause, uh, Clay Rokes, that says it can only be used on your opponent's turn. Um, yeah, White is definitely, like, the kingpin of one-drop instance. So there's so much, like... That's and I love that white is kind of the tricky battle stuff, which is kind of what I wanted. But um, then with the ramp too, like white has a lot of really good three drops that I think being able to put out on turn two is a huge step in their favor to kind of get control of the game. Don't worry, lots of people. We've we've established that the worldwide community can't read cards, so. And I mean, I can't remember the names of cards, so that says that I don't... And I named half of them, so... Uh, but the... I I know what the effects do. Uh, I, I don't necessarily know what the names of all the cards are. Uh, I don't think so, SPM fan. I think that Bow Bear Magic is, in the current format, there's enough stuff that deals with it. Like, you need something like that to address the early aggression. Um, I, I think that's, like, not every deck wants to be playing that, and, like... Good, yeah, many people are saying here, good is not broken. Like, it's when it's oppressive or it's a bad play feel. Like, if you swing in, you it's not like they're going to instant cast a bow and then gotcha. Like, the bow is there. It's obvious. Like, is there blue mana open? Or blue will, excuse me. Is, is there a bear magic in their graveyard? Okay, you probably know it's coming. Like, the Apollo Band as explained, was because turn one stone destruction that was tutorable from your deck was obnoxious, and the fact that it was allowing decks to overextend, and then, as you guys were talking about, like, the problem with Final Battle is overextending into it, that prevented you from ever overextending into it. So, there, there was quite a few things that Apollo did that was broken. So, sorry anyone who has their bunny deck that got nerfed a little bit. But. I, I think when people complain sometimes, they're not recognizing the larger scope of some of the issues, 
and they maybe have a like surfacing Mosasaurus then? Uh, I, I would disagree with that, Clay. Um, you have speaking stones that keep your stones protected, so if they do that, remember it has to target three, so they'll target their own stones if they do that. You also have, uh, what's it called? Like time reversal or whatever that force untaps your stuff. You can also just not tap out every turn. Um, you have Keys' Call, Lorite, uh, Iron Nitrogen Blade. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Um, so I, I would say, again, like without that, is blue playable right now? The same is green playable without Lorite and his gang? Like, probably to some degree you could find some little examples, but like, I, I, I think people sometimes get on this train of ban everything! Fuck it! <laughs> and I, I disagree with that. I think, I, I think you guys have, can tell by now, but there is a balance that I'm... I have a idealized version of a format, and so my goal is to get us there as best we can, and then have the pendulum swing a little bit. Yes, Chimimi did. Ban all non but Hey, but then there's that anti-vanilla card. I think it's a one-drop, right? Um, Alright, guys, so... I'm going to keep my mic on and then I'm going to show you some pictures and then we got to talk about it for a little bit. So here's kind of what you've been waiting for. So, excuse me. Ooh, who's that? Who's that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh dear, I seem to have fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> so cute. Bow of justice. My favorite. Oh God, I love it. Beautiful. So nice. So I'm gonna let that play a little bit. I'll let it go through two loops and then I'll come back and we'll talk a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, so <laughs> those are the willpower rewards uh, as we go into the uh, era from 2018. Um, so a couple things to address off the top is that there. Oh gosh, I forget which one is the VIP one. One of those is VIP. Um, I forget which one. But the the other artwork and stuff is still not done. 
And so there may be something similar to the, uh, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of it. My Will, My Game. Uh, something along the lines of My Will, My Game for this round of the Willpower Room. Um, so as you can see, both sides are new artwork. So there is, that part's awesome, but that's also why it has taken forever for any news. So, um, I, I've been like begging that the, uh, information get out sooner than later. Um, I don't exactly know uh, whoever I'm Sabo. Um, so someone had asked the American uh, Willpower Rewards will not have uh, Caster Chronicles uh, as part of their Willpower Rewards. Um, I'm not going to see any more cards that end up being flying. I mean, Hook was fine until people just started blinking it repeatedly. So, it. I think you might be limp. You might be using the wrong terminology because any format will have format defining cards. It's what the baseline of the game is. But if you mean format breaking cards, like Sherry or something, the goal is that no, we won't. But if there ever is, and there's statistical data to show that, then I will ban it as necessary. Um, yeah, like Lorai, for example, is a game-defining card. Like, everything you do, you have to think about, but at the same time, it's a safety gap to prevent, like, there would be so many things that there would be no answers to. Uh, yes, it's too late. Or no, no, no. Today is the last day. That was the one thing I'm supposed to say as well. Uh, the 24th. Today is the last day you can still uh, sign up. Uh, that's uh, Today is the last day. The 24th is the last day you can sign up for Willpower Awards. If you have not done so, please do so. Um, you have until uh, less than 12 hours. So... Please do it. Um, uh, they didn't tell me. I would assume Japan Standard Time. So just do it now. Um, got about 11 hours. With that being said... Um, let me... Oh, it uninstalled my thing. Um, hold on. I'll show you. So, oh, it uninstalled my Willpower Rewards because I needed space on my phone. All right, well, I can't show you, but uh, it's on the event tab, I believe. Someone else can double check me on that. But, um, so, uh, so, yeah. Um, there, there will be an article coming out uh, regarding willpower rewards and stuff too uh, on the website hopefully soon. So I'm waiting for them the to give you an idea like the artwork hasn't even been put into cards yet. So that's how like recent we're still receiving stuff. So like the time like doing all new artwork has a downside. And I think it's worth it. I think the quality is awesome, better than it's ever been. But the trade-off is there is real time frame disadvantages. Um, will you get the art for Ruined Earth? Nope. Not until they start revealing stuff normally, although I have it in the other room. <laughs> um, but with that being said, guys... Um, So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to take off for now and go get some lunch. I hope that this has been educational. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know. They're not printed yet. They're not even made yet. I don't even know where we're printing them. 
So uh, once we get that, uh, I'll hopefully have more updates on it for you guys. Um, but so with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. I will talk to you. I'm going to do another stream tonight. So probably, I think, lunchtime. So I'll probably do one in about seven hours from now. And that one kind of go over the same stuff, just talk to people. And depending on how things are going, maybe maybe we can do some live stream and I'll play on Untapped or something. Uh, so for whoever asked me, Force of Official, that is me on Untapped. So if you ever see me, uh, play with me. Um, I'm usually just testing out. It, you don't have to play serious decks against me. I play a ton of garbage, too, when I just want to relax. And be like, hey, these cards are pretty. So uh, with that being said, guys, I will see you soon. Um, I look forward to more chatting with you guys in the future. I apologize. It's been a little while. Let's try and keep these more regular. So with that being said, guys, take it easy. Have a good one.